So we're supposed to be learning about Kepler and his laws, but Kepler is just too cool of a guy not to talk about him himself. So Johannes Kepler, an amazing astronomer slash mathematician slash scientist shown here on the left, lived from 1571 to 1630. Kepler basically stole all of his data from his fellow colleague slash mentor Tycho Brahe, who is shown here on the right where it says Tycho Brahe. Right there. As a young chap, Tycho got into a sword fight with one of his friends. I assume they were math buddies. No one really knows why they fought, but I would guess that it was an all-out math duel about math and fighting. And I don't know if Tycho won or not, but he did get his nose chopped off in the process. So like any fashionable scientist of the day. Tycho made an artificial nose out of gold and silver. Yeah. He had an artificial nose made out of gold and silver. How cool is that? And he also had a pet moose, shown here. Math is so cool when you have a pet moose. Mr. Jinx should get a pet moose. It could be our class pet. I couldn't find the name of the moose, but I'm sure that uh, Tycho named his moose. Who wouldn't name their moose? So for all intents and purposes, his name is Moosey. Between Tycho's golden nose and his pet moose, it shouldn't be too surprising that other scientists will be jealous of this dashing young fellow. I know I'm jealous. I mean, just look at that moose. Named Moosey. And that's Kepler. Right there on the left. That's the left. Yes, that's the left on the left, not the right. Saying, I want a pet moose. Why can't I have a pet moose? And I want a golden nose. Why can't I have a golden nose? Nobody knows. I just want a golden nose. Of course, it's rumored that Kepler, his apprentice, poisoned Tycho with mercury. Q. The dramatic music! Three, two, one, now! 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 There we go. And this would explain why Kepler used all of Tycho's works for himself. This is only one theory, though. There's another theory. Cue the dramatic music again! And so Kepler and his evil grin are all like, ha ha And then he eats the apple, Tycho does, but it probably wasn't an apple because I'm pretty sure that only Snow White eats the poison apple, right? Or is that Cinderella? I don't know, but Tycho dies. And he is no more. Cue the suspenseful music again! Three, two, one, go! And then there's the other theory of how Tycho died, which isn't as violent. But it, I don't know, it isn't as fun if it's not violent. And so Tycho went to a royal banquet with the queen and all of her fancy rich people. And that's supposed to be really puffy sleeves and a dress. Yeah, that's the queen right there. So during this banquet, Tycho has to pee, but he refuses to pee. Which I don't really understand why. And his bladder somewhat explodes a little bit just just a tiny bit his bladder explodes and I'm sure the Queen would have been less offended if Tycho went to use the bathroom than of him dying in the middle of one of her royal banquets with a busted bladder well that's just my opinion and no one really seems to care about my opinion so yeah cue the dramatic music once again in three, two, one, now! And 
Tycho's bladder has bursted in the middle of the Queen's banquet, which isn't very fun. And the Queen's just like, oh no, with her unibrow. Ah, his bladder bursted. I personally prefer the first theory of how Tycho died. So when Kepler got rid of Tycho, he became the king of math and astronomy and stuff. Woohoo! The end! Thank you! Thank you so much, everybody!